children in the morning blues. Ha! Well, you're a short wee thing. Long back, but stocky little legs. Hello, and welcome back to another one here on R&R &R Farming. Today we are moving the cows. You, you would have seen us bring in the cows from over, over the other side of the farm yesterday. It was very wet. It has been wet all last week, and it's going to be wet all this week, apart from today. Today's dry. Come on! Come on! Yeah, so we're taking the cows in because they are getting TB tested for tuberculosis. Yeah, so it's done every four years. Every, every cow will get done. I think the calves don't need doing. Um, but yeah, so there's 26, come on, 26 cows, including the bull, just here. Yeah, so that's the plan. That's what we're up to today. You can see how wet it's been. So the cows are pushing it a wee bit, but as you can see there, okay, it's not too bad. <laughs> so we've got them here. And the crush is just over there. So we're going to bring them in. Kind of, we're only doing the cows though, aren't we? Yes, just the cows. Um, and we're going to give them, the, the vet gives them a wee dead bit of TB. TB. A bit of the virus. dead virus, uh, which inoculates them from the... Well, it, what it means, if there's, if there's any cow got TB, they'll get a reaction. Right, and okay. And what happens is, when he comes back on Thursday, there'll be a little lump on the neck which shows ah, them they've got a reaction I see, aye. which means you've got TB in the herd so what we're hoping for is no reaction no lumps <laughs> yeah fair basically. enough and then you're saying we, we'll give them a wee thing of the we'll give them a BVD inoculation BVD. we BVD. do that every year aye so we give them a bit of BVD yeah. as well and then that'll be them and then where after this are they going? they'll then go back down where they've taken them from and then on oh, Thursday the vet comes back checks all the cows to make sure they're alright uh, and then we'll take the calves off okay and so we're doing this lot and then we're doing the lot behind Sue's yes so that's all getting done today they go back where they were and then rechecked we brought back in rechecked okay yeah so hopefully you're going to see all that in this video hopefully <laughs> grand thank you very much Stuart <laughs> no problem here we have Reese. this is the vet that's joined us today um, we're doing TB and BBD as we mentioned before with Stuart but yeah, BVD, what does BVD stand for? Bovine Viral Diarrhea. Ah, and why do we give the cows that? <coughs> Vaccinate the cows for it because it causes problems really in calves. Okay. Ah. It weakens their immune system. <coughs> oh, okay. It causes lots of other diseases to be worse. Pneumonia and things. Oh, so cows catch it and then they pass it on to their calves. Aye, aye. So we what we want is to stop the cows from catching it. Really. Cool. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and Stuart was just saying about the, the TB, we give them a, a thing in the neck and then you, you'll be back here on Thursday and yeah. we'll so see we, if anything's appeared. We inject them with two types of tuberculin, so the avian one and the bovine one. Oh. And then the, the avian one gives a bit of a lump and so can the bovine one. So yeah. we're comparing the difference between the two reactions. So if we get a big bovine reaction, that's bad news. Okay. Thankfully in Scotland we don't get a lot of it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, that's what we're hoping for. No lumps. Yeah. <laughs> Grand. Well, thank you very much. We'll get some cows up for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're tagging a few as well. Oh, yeah. I know. So it's not every day people. You, you, you can't forget about the, the machine, really. Don't you? Yeah, I know. I know. Film once when I was scanning, but they never put it. It was for like um, I think it was a program about the mark. All right. All right. And they, they never put it on. On the well, this isn't. Just this will be going on YouTube, <laughs> not on TV. But <laughs> don't worry, I'll get you a good side. Like I said, it's been very wet. So, yeah, not great conditions we're working in, but at least it's not raining at the moment. So that's a bonus. That's the BBD dog. 
I've just put in. Come on, have to come. Have to come. Have to yeah. The most important bit is being able to see. See, yeah, see, see where, where you're putting it. Yeah. Uh, that's Prince, um, Black Prince. He's the boy we got from the mart a few videos back. He's just going a wee bit thin, but um, there's not much grass at the moment, so we've, we're bringing him in after this week, so he'll get better feed then. The last three cows and there's some, some calves got in as well. I think we're in need of a new crush. <laughs> That's us done with this lot of cows, so they're going back in here, which is called The Walk. Uh, I don't know why it's called that. I mean, honestly, a lot of these parks, <laughs> they have weird names or funny names, you know, like there's the Hattie Park, which used to have a hut in it, but it doesn't anymore, but it's still called the Hati Park or the Sky Park because it's really high up and it's closest to the sky and yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this is called the walk. This is where they're going back. They'll bide here, they'll stay here until uh, Thursday, until when the vet comes back. We have a road that passes past the farm and so we always have to have kind of like two people on either end stopping any traffic because we didn't want a, a cow getting hit by a car or a sheep. Hungry. Yeah, we'll get them inside soon. And now the next lot of cows. So these ones that we have in at the moment. Well, I think the one at the back that Doug's doing now. And they're all kind of slightly cream coloured ladies, cows. Um, that is because we used to have a Charlie ball, so they're slightly bigger than some of the other Angus Cross. But yeah, they're all Angus Cross because we have Angus balls in at the moment. The cows will be classified as Angus Cross because they're put onto Angus balls, if that makes sense. Whereas if it was we had a Charlie ball, it'd be a Charlie Cross. I think that's how it works. We've done the first three. Then now it's got to do the rest of them.
There you go. That's how it's done. That's two. Hopefully when you come back we'll have new doors on as well. We're getting them done. That was the balance of trying to bring them in, have you here with the, getting the doors done and so, so this is the doors that are getting done? Yeah, and you see the three at the back there as well. Okay. So there's 12 in yeah, total, you know, six back. here and six over there. Uh, so yeah, but they, these were probably put in when the setting were put, was put up or something, in the 60s. Thanks very much. Yeah, no, thank you very much, Rhys. We'll right. see you on Thursday, will we? Yeah. Aye. So you'll be starring again. Yeah. Have you, the, have you given the YouTube uh, Have you given permission? Yeah, I asked Rhys. <laughs> he seemed over the moon to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know if you could see that on the GoPro. Sue and Stuart are off. The cows are just at the back end of the field there. Uh, we're gonna put them into the field beyond that. Um, just for a quick bite to eat for a few days because then the vet will be here on Thursday. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we will pick this video back up, I believe, on Thursday when the vet's back in. And we'll see if any of them have TB. And welcome back. This is now Thursday. It is dry at the moment, so we're getting the cows in. Stuart and Doug have already got the other cows in already, so yeah, but these are the ones on this side of the farm. Oh dear, right, I better get on the quad. They're walking the wrong way. keen to go back in the crush or back that direction I think they think they know what's gonna happen although we wouldn't have to put them through the crush you just have to run them past the vet but yeah they don't think they're very keen there we go they're walking the right direction now Yeah, no, so the road they're on at the moment is the old road here um, behind me. Um, and yeah, it was recently kind of redone for the timber lorries coming in and out at the moment so they can turn at the end here. But it does make it a wee bit hard when we've got cattle or stock, you know, with sheep and cows because it's not overgrown anymore, so they think it's like a it's a path they can go down. Yeah. So here yeah, you can see the, the road. Here yeah, you can see all the mess that the timber lorries are making. The plan here is we're going to run the cows past past Reese here, and he can have a quick look at their necks.
you happy, Reese? Yep. Yeah, yeah. all, all, all good. First lot. Pass. We're happy with them, or Reese is happy with them. He didn't see anything suspicious. So we're just going to put them back to where they were. Because, annoyingly, because we haven't got the doors done yet, we can't really do anything. So we were going to shed them off while we had them in and put them inside, but because the doors, we're getting the doors fixed on the steading, replaced, um, we can't do that yet. <coughs> so we'll maybe do that tomorrow, possibly. A bit annoying, but it's what it is. We should probably really get some like, traffic lights or something for this bit, hey? <laughs> or like a, a cow, a pedestrian crossing for cows. Or at least, at the very least, probably an animal crossing sign. Or farm, farm animals crossing, maybe. Just so people know, because, you know, no one can see until they come around that corner. And the same at the other end. Here are the next lot of cows. It's our job to get them in. You all look very anxious. <laughs> all good? Yeah. Got the all clear? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Though you just a wee bit suspicious of that one. So we had like a little, little what, like a little lump. Didn't see her before, but so how big would the lump be? Like the size of a fist, usually. So, oh, right. Oh, so it's, it'd be quite clear. Right, that's fine. Grand. Oh, well, thank you very much. So you want to be Oh, well. I feel like I've asked you enough questions and I've got you on camera enough anyway. So th thank you very much for coming. That's all right. Cheers. Hi, cows over there. In here. Come on! Come on! Well, that's where they need to be. Yeah, all yes, good. It went very well. Yes. Apart from some arguments amongst the staff. There's always the arguments cows, amongst the staff, the cows though. Were fine. <laughs> the cows behaved themselves. Shame about the, the employees, hey? <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's us for this video. Cows are good, the vet's happy, no TB, um, did all that sort of stuff. And no badgers were killed. In the making of this video. Yes. But it's maybe a bit hard to follow along Doug's sense of humour, but you know, I'm getting there slowly. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>